Let's get back to some baby making. Who have I become? <laughs> My name is Kelsey. I'm single and we thought it would be funny if I played the 100 Baby Challenge. Last time I got to see a bunch of your dads that you guys created for Chelsea. And so this time we're gonna go all in. We're gonna seduce more men. We're gonna have more babies and we're gonna hopefully age up our first toddler. I have ambitious goals, but I spent a lot of time looking at men last time. So I really need to catch up. Oh my gosh. To just start out, Lars has already called and is asking Chelsea to go on a date. I'm pretty sure we're allowed to go. We should go on a date. We're going to go on Chelsea's first date. Oh, wait, this is such a cute place. Lars, thank you. Let's embrace to begin our date. Oh, I'm What's up, Lars? <laughs> You guys made him with such a deep uh -huh. voice. Lars's voice is so <laughs> deep. It's been a while since I've been on a date, so this is exciting. And Chelsea's never been on a date. This is her fourth kid and she's never been on a date. I'm sorry, Chelsea. I did you dirty. Let's kiss him. Oh, I think they went on a date to a bar, but is there food here? She's got her scrambled eggs and bacon, so she's just gonna eat it. She's gonna pull it out of her purse. I think he'll respect that. She just doesn't care. She's gonna confess her attraction to him. She's gonna be like, Lars, listen, I'm attracted to you and I want you to be my next baby daddy. Ask him about his day too. She's been a little flirt heavy with Lars, but I think they want to build their friendship too. Oh, yo This is helping. Okay, her eating and having a date. She's the queen of double task. Oh, he just went inside. That's okay. Oh, I think he went to the bathroom. She's just gonna continue to eat her food out here. Maybe there's like a game inside that she can play. Let's play with uh, Lars. <gasps> is Dominic here? And Connor. Wait, I think Connor's another one of your guys' dads. But oh my gosh, our ex Dominic is here. That is so awkward while we're on a date. And this girl is pregnant too. How many pregnant women are here around this town? Flirt. Oh, we can woohoo in a bush? Well, that would get her fun up real fast. Why not? All right, enough with this game. Let's seal the deal here on this date. It makes sense for Chelsea to come up to him and be like, hey. I saw a bush outside. Wanna have a little fun in that bush? Can you stop playing foosball for one moment? Like, I know it was my idea, bro, but I really, really wanna ask you this question about a bush. Really? Oh no, you are not doing that. You are not talking to other people on this date, except for maybe the bartender. Can you introduce yourself to Connor? What's up? The date's almost over. It was a good date though. I think she's successful. I'll call you maybe, ouch, Lars. Whatever, you know what? Chelsea's too good for you. And I'm sure you'll come over when she calls anyway. Bye, this was a fun date, guys. She's glitching. That is not good for the baby. <laughs> Dominic, don't follow me home. We both knew at the beginning of this what this was. Is she gonna walk home? Chelsea, are you gonna just walk home? I don't think that's good for baby. All right, she gotta pee first and foremost. Let's check on Jamie. Jamie needs a bath. Brielle needs to, to use the potty and then use the the sleepy time. Olive is perfect, so we're gonna have Olive build her skills. You're almost done with thinking, so let's do that. All right, break. Who just passed out? She did not finish her potty going because she needed to sleep. I think we got the order wrong. <laughs> Come on, Brielle, you got this. Chelsea, why did you go to bed? You have to give Jamie a bath. Give Jamie a bath, you goon. Welcome back to the Impeachish May children family. You wanna take a bath, Jamie? Oh, he says, yes. yes, please. I have stink lines coming off of me, mom. You've been a little bit negligent. I'm gonna put away these plates because Chelsea's a single mom and she needs some help. She needs all the help she can get. Oh, Brielle, we got a stinker. I can't wait till Olive is like a kid. Won't that be exciting? Now you get to go to bed, Brielle. Take yourself to bed, my darling. Great, this is perfect. Everything is a going according to plan. I like that they can learn thinking from a iPad. That's good. <gasps> Chelsea's gone into labor, but she's writing a book. Chelsea, you're in labor. Have the baby at the hospital. She's like, I am super contracty. Is that the technical term? Yeah. Baby number four. Wow, we're gonna have another baby. That brief pause without a baby was super nice, right? I'm excited though. This just means that we can uh, invite over our good friend Lars to have baby number five. Only 95 to go, right? I need to figure out how to get twins. I know there's like a lot thing we can do, so maybe we'll look into that today. Congratulations, it's a girl! Wow, we're gonna have an army of women. 
How thrilling. I did ask a couple challenges ago for some baby name suggestions. So I'm gonna jump on to there. My favorite was that a lot of you suggested your own names, which I think is hilarious. So Alexis said Alexis. I love it. Alexis is the name. Thank you, Alexis, for the name of our baby. We named our child after you. Thanks for watching this video. Baby Alexis is here, and we're ready to have another baby. Let's go have woohoo. Oh, wow. I didn't miss the sound of babies crying. All right, go home, Chelsea. You got business to do. It's business time. Chelsea's home from the hospital in her finest outfit, and she's gonna, oh, she's gonna take care of her baby. Alexis is crying, find out what's wrong here, and coo at her. And then we're gonna call up our boy, our new bae, Lars. What's up, Lars? Oh, Why is our baby sad again? Well, the, the dad is coming in, the future dad. Stop talking to your daughter. There's a man over here. She's like, hold on one second. I got I got motherhood to do, but like there's a purpose for having you here. Okay, no, 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 don't. Where are you going? What is he doing? All right, Lars, embrace him. We're gonna do a little flirt. She's like, hey, thanks for coming over. I don't know if you noticed, but I clearly recently just had a baby. So it's that time of video again where we try for a baby. You down? Why is the baby, Alexis, Alexis. I know we named the baby after you, but my gosh. We can't we can't get it on while the baby's sleeping. Or can we? Or can we? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm a little bit disturbed. I wanted her to stop, but they just did it. So here we are. What I that I I'm so sorry, Alexis, to the person that named this baby after themselves. At least, you know, at least Chelsea's having a good time. Fix your baby, then take a pregnancy test, and then go back to bed. This little girl is still crushing it at her skill building, but she doesn't need to sleep, so let's have her sleep. We don't want a bunch of cranky kids. She's looking a lot better, so maybe we'll have her pick up where, where our other... <gasps> Eating for two! Chelsea is pregnant! Thanks, Lars! And thank you to the person who created Lars for us. I'm pregnant! She says, and Lars is like, are you serious? That's amazing. I fulfilled my life purpose. What is he doing? What are you up to, man? He's cleaning our floors? I mean, thanks, man. <laughs> this is free will, baby. I'm not gonna say no to this. Wait, she's level three on thinking. Great, all right, so you're level three on thinking. Now we just need movement. And then once her movement's done, we just need potty and then we can age her up. Maybe we will get her aged up in this episode. That'll be great. Where is this guy going? He cleaned up two of them, but he left the third. That's fine. Lars, you're more than we could have asked for. Thank you so much. Is all done? Yes. All right, now we only need to fix her potty. So let's have her go potty. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Thanks, Lars. Thank you for being a friend. I don't know the rest of that song. I just know that part. She's pumped. She's like, I just pooped and I'm proud. Look at all those little bugs in a rug. Everybody's sleeping. Everyone's great. <sighs> proud parent right here. She's feeling confident. I'm feeling confident, Chelsea. All right, it's time, Jamie. We're gonna potty train you. He said, I don't wanna. And you're like, uh, too bad, you don't have a choice. Why is he angry? Don't want to do it. He's uh -huh. defiant, baby. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's doing it. I'm so proud of you. Braille's working on her thinking skills. Olive's working on her potty skills. Jamie is working on getting his way to the food. Good job, Jamie. You've made it. Is she at three yet? Oh, she's really close. Go potty. If we just keep making her go potty, will it help? Will she keep going? Looks like our baby doesn't like us. Alexis, why are you so difficult? Oh my gosh, are you there yet? No, you're not. But you should probably sleep. And then we'll have you try again. And we made more money. Hey, we've hit a thousand dollars, guys. Royalties are amazing. Wow, ever since we got an iPad, our kids have been angels. <laughs> I feel like that's a lesson for us all. Maybe we need another iPad. We got another iPad, we spent a ton of money. I don't care. Oh, they're so cute. Look at his little outfit. He's got a little tail. Oh, goodness. Look at him and Brielle. They're like, 
I'm playing a game. Are you playing a game? They're probably not saying that. They're toddlers. They're probably not saying that at all. She's in here doing her work. <laughs> They're having a great combo. This is heaven. Am I just too good at this challenge now? Ha ha! Couple little fixes and now I'm queen of challenge. I'm challenge queen! I'm feeling confident! Riel's still crushing it. She's almost at level two of thinking, which is great. And he's at level two of communication already. My children are brilliant and I'm brilliant. It's all is quiet in the Peach May household. Brielle's getting close to level threes on everything too. Wait, kids will go to school too. Half the time I won't even have to deal with them. That's incredible. She's just giggling to herself on the potty. You know, as one does. Goomba. Ah. <laughs> she just said Goomba. Oh, thanks. Santa just called to say congratulations on the new addition to the family. Thanks, Nana. Everyone's in bed. Everyone's sleeping. This is incredible. It's 5 p.m. A little bit of a weird time, but like, who cares? Potty round three. All right, here we go. She's walking up to the potty. She knows this might be the moment, the true moment that she becomes a kid. Why is pottying the thing that stands between her and childhood? Heck if I know, but here we are. All on the edge of our seats. Come on, Olive, you can do it. Just learn. <gasps> The potty, yes, crush the potty. Make this potty your final potty on the little kid toilet and graduate. Graduate, no, ah, so close. Go again. All right, this time is the time. Don't let a potty stand between you and victory. <gasps> is it time, is it time, is it time? Oh my gosh. This potty might be it. One small step for kid, one giant leap for childhood kind. Let's age this baby up. Let's age her up. Oh, they're having like a nice mother-daughter moment right now. Chelsea, pause in that book. You gotta bake that cake for your, for your kid so that she can age up. What a special cake. Special cake with magical powers. Chelsea's like, I am feeling incredible. I am an expectant mother, a mother of four, beautiful children, and uh, I'm in a new flirtation ship with a guy named Craig. He seems really great. Add birthday candles. It's almost Alexis's birthday. That'll be great. One less baby in the house. All right, here we go. Okay. Yes, pick up. That was weird. <laughs> she missed. She missed, but apparently it still worked. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, our first kid. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's gonna age up. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Wow, she's aged up. Okay, okay. Pick a number between one and four. It's two. Great, so she's a mental. She's a little geeko. And then for this, pick a random number between one and 30. The answer is 18. 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16, 17, 18. Ooh, so she's squeamish and she's a whiz kid. She's a squeamish whiz kid. <laughs> All right, done. Oh my goodness, Olive is so cute. Oh my God, I love her. I'm in love with Olive. And Marcus has sent his daughter Olive a gift. Olive is beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, she can do her homework. Do that homework, Olive. Look at her space clothes. Wow, oh my gosh. Look at her with her little siblings. Okay, we gotta get her a big girl bag. Oh my gosh, Olive, you're so beautiful. Wow. Now Olive can do a bunch of stuff. Can Olive clean this? <gasps> Olive can clean it! It's a whole new world. We don't have to have dirty things anymore. We have help. Olive is here to save the day. She's gonna be a great kid. Start her homework. She's a little smelly. Doesn't matter. She can wash herself. Oh my gosh, Olive, I'm so sorry for using you. I'm gonna use you a lot. I'm gonna be using my daughter. They're both sitting at the edges of the other kids' beds while they sleep and having breakfast and she's doing homework because they don't have a table. Maybe I should get a kitchen table. Maybe this is a sign. But I think this moment's really cute, so I don't care. Wow. Chelsea and her That's army so of children. Nice. This is a precious moment. They're bonding. This is so cute. They have like the best relationship too. That's amazing. I think Olive is always gonna be secretly my favorite, but not secretly because I just said it out loud, didn't I? 
You're doing great. Maybe let's have you finish writing your book for a second. So you can make more money to get Olive more stuff. I want Olive to have a great life. Olive is my everything. Olive is a stunner. She's gonna be a little heartbreaker. Maybe like her mom. Yes, ah, she's so responsible. Good job, Olive. Now go take your bath. And then can we have her like mop? And she can clean this, which is good. We're gonna put you to work, my girl. She's finishing up her novel. It's 1 a.m. so she can't really invite Craig over right now, but maybe tomorrow when her kid's at school. Writing achievement. She finished another book. Okay, cool. We're gonna we're gonna publish that. Why are you still in that outfit? Maybe we have enough money for a shower bath now. Whoa, this is not a look, Olive. Maybe we need to change Olive's outfit. I'm not feeling this. These sandals with joggers and this vest. Oh, I mean, it's all the same color, but Olive. Maybe she dressed herself for the first time. Proud of you, girl. Oh, he's mad. Why is Jamie always so angry? And he, he's very frightening with it too. I kind of like, don't trust this kid. Oh, she's so responsible, Olive. Wait, what's that? Why is she uncomfortable? Ew, oh gross, she's squeamish from trash. Maybe it's because she's my kid, but I think Olive is the prettiest kid I've ever seen in The Sims. I just said it, okay? Olive and Peach Ishmay is the best. Oh, it's rebate day. What's that? Shopping rebate, all purchases in build mode earn an extra 10% rebate for today only. Buy an object worth at least 500 simoleons to complete this tradition. Oh, I wanna buy something. Cool, sure. Can we buy our, our shower, our shower bath? Okay, if we sell that, do we have enough money for our shower bath that I really want? Wow, this is how they get you. Yeah, shower bath! <laughs> Olive is crushing life. She's gonna be a straight A student in no time. Her homework's complete. She's on fake hay. Like what else is there for Olive to do but be a spectacular kid? She's gonna clean up. She's gonna be the most responsible kid. Not because I'm trying to teach her responsibility, but because I'm using her <laughs> as a second parent. <laughs> Poor Olive, she's gonna have to grow up so fast. <laughs> yes, bath shower. I love, yes, our bath shower. She's playing computer games, which is great. Girl after my own heart. She's her mother's daughter. Look at her zoning out. Oh my God, are you gonna be a streamer? I think when she's a teen, she can even get a job, which is amazing. Mom's gonna get a piece of cake for breakfast. I'm actually gonna see if there's like a lot. Traits, we can do a lot trait on ley line. Yeah, I think we can do that. All right, let's try to have twins. That'd be great. Maybe, maybe we'll have twins with Craig. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing? Cause he has twins in the game that he's from. Why is she like, oh, she's just uncomfortable from cleaning, but she did that on her own. I didn't even ask her to do that. Good job, kid. Olive is the best. I love you, Olive, so much. Today's mail's been delivered. Oh no. We owe a lot more money than we have and we have 48 hours to pay. Maybe I shouldn't have bought that shower. Wait, we just got paid. You! Well, that worked out. What's she up to? She's just playing. Oh, it's so cute. She's so creative. Look at her living in her own little world. Wow. Well, we just paid our bills. It was a lot. Oh, can Olive help with the baby? She can bond with the baby, so that's kind of cute. Go go play with your little sister Alexis, Olive. Olive looks mad about it. She's like, I don't want to hang out with Alexis. She's needy and sad. We'll have mom come over and help. Meanwhile, Olive, what can you do? You can clean up whatever that is. Poor Olive is squeamish and I keep putting her through the ringer. She's hungry. All right, let's get this cake out. Give your children cake. This is a good call. Look at this family time. Mom looks like she's in good spirits, so she's gonna pee and then she's gonna invite over Craig. Craig, what's up, Craig? Mom's like, hey, Craig. We met at that bar that one time, if you remember. Do you wanna come hang out? This is our moment, guys. This has been probably over a year in the making. Chelsea and Peach Ishmay and Craig. Yeah, he came so prompt. Sorry, I got way too excited about this. Wait, no, no, Craig, don't leave. I'm sorry, I'm talking to my daughter. Okay, here we go. We can't mess this up. He was down. Oh my gosh, is she just, no, don't do that. Clean that up. Mom is eating a cake and not talking to Craig. No, 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 no. Heartfelt compliment, come back, Craig. I can eat cake and talk to you at the same time. Go get him, Chelsea. Get him with your cake and your baby bump. Hey. 
Arish, tips are too. Okay, okay, okay. Ask about yeah. his day, yeah. compliment his outfit, tell an engaging story, be like, great. Oh, You're great. Bra brain is day. <laughs> oh, yo, and Our then process, slide in a little yeah, mini she, flirt. It's like a little like, hi. That's not how I flirt. Shoot, the baby's crying. Olive, interference, Th run it. Wait, is she just finishing her cake really fast? No, Craig, don't leave yet. Craig, don't leave yet. Is he leaving? Is he going on a run? He's going on a run. That's our Craig. Why are you sad, Brielle? All right, she needs thinking as usual. Not a thinker, or Brielle. I feel like I'm only always upping her thinking. And no, wait, where did Craig go? Craig, come back, come back, Craig. Craig! Craig! Is that him? Oh, that's not him, it's a teen celebrity. There's Craig, brighten his day, and then we get to flirt. All right, go, teen, go teen. While I'm gone, you're in charge, Olive. <laughs> go, Chelsea, go. She's not going very fast. Go to your love. I ship it. When this is all over and 100 babies are done, maybe she and Craig will settle down. Brielle is being sad with a cup. Can't say I've never been there. Really? She's flirting from very far away. This is long distance flirting. Compliment him. This is looking good. Olive is getting... Marcus, her dad wants to come hang out with her. Is that allowed? If not, it's really cute. What a cute dad. It doesn't say anything, right? Mm -mm. It just says that you can't have, like, make them come over right, and right, move right. in. Okay. I'm gonna have him come over and hang out with his daughter, Olive. That is so cute. Meanwhile, Chelsea's flirting it up with Craig. I hope he doesn't find out. I mean, not that it matters, because I think that he already knew. But, like, at the same time, I don't think he'd be happy to see his former flame crushing on someone new, you know? It's not fun. Ooh. This is going well. Oh, Craig is yeah. super into Chelsea. Olive's hanging out with her dad. Ebony. Oh my gosh, my heart. <laughs> How's Chelsea doing with Craig? What? Where did he go? How did you lose him? I left you alone for two seconds. Go home, Chelsea. Go home. Brielle's leech level four of communication skills. She was playing the wrong game. No, we didn't need level four. We need her to reach level three on imagination or thinking. Why don't you stay thinking, Brielle? I remember that I put you on that and you changed it. Chelsea's having a good pee. Marcus is in Chelsea's bedroom, getting on her computer, as all the boys do. All right, Marcus says, I gotta go. See you later as the baby starts crying. I would leave when a baby started crying too. It's Alexis's birthday. All right, you know what that means. Alexis, you're aging up. Happy birthday, Alexis. Carzini. <gasps> Give me a number between one and eight. Fine. <laughs> Give me a number between one and eight. The answer is four. All right, so this baby is a charmer. Aw, Alexis is a little charmer. Look at a little Alexis. Ooh, that's a cute haircut. And now we need a new bed for Alexis, which means that we probably need to extend our room. Do we have enough money for that, though? We'll find out. Insufficient funds. Insufficient fun. Welcome back to Kelsey's Not That Extreme Home Makeover. I'm your host, Kelsey and Peach K. Uh, still with very little money, but enough to make it work. And that's all we need here on Kelsey's Extreme Not That Extreme Home Makeover. All right, yeah, that's fine. It's just like a room of beds. It's not cute, but it works. Let's like have everybody kind of go back to sleep. Actually, you know what? You can learn literally anything because you don't know anything yet. You're like a little Jon Snow. So now we have three toddlers and a child and a pregnancy. I am much further along in this than I ever expected to be. <laughs> oh my God, is there a park across the street and I literally never looked? My children could have been going to this park the whole time. I am a terrible parent, but I mean, that's not a new discovery. <laughs> Anyone else waking up? All right. We got some kids up. Toddler time. This toddler's hungry. He can have sugar, even though you're not probably supposed to have sugar, and you can have sugar as well. I'm a great parent. Why don't you go get some more cake, kids? For the last 24 hours, all they've eaten is cake. It's great, but there's no cake left, so now we need to make more food. 
Oh, he moved to get closer to his sister. He's a little stinky. And here's Olive, our special angel. Oh no! Oh, uh, we don't have enough money to replace that. Okay, mom's gonna have to fix that when she wakes up. Mom's got a lot to do when she wakes up. But we're gonna keep letting her sleep because everything's like fine-ish now. <laughs> Just look at all of the insanity behind her. She's sleeping. Ooh, Brielle's level potty three, baby! Why is she angry? Because of sugar. Well, same. All right. She reached potty level three, which is perfect. So now she just needs thinking and imagination and then we'll have a second kid on our hands. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, Alexis acquired the potty skill. Such a good girl. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't feed our kids sugar. It just keeps making them all mad. No, she really needs to go. I hope she doesn't pee herself. Hurry up, little kid. Mom needs to pee too. There you go. Oh no, mom's, no, mom peed herself. Oh gosh. Oh, everything's bad. Well, go take a shower. Oh no, Alexis, no. Bad Alexis. Absolutely not. That's not how we do it in the Peter Schmeyer family. No, Alexis. Ah, oh my gosh. Olive is taking out the trash and I didn't even ask her to. Oh my God, what a treasure. Oh my gosh, did you see my perfect angel daughter pick up all that garbage and throw it away like the queen that she is. She's got a school an hour, she's uncomfortable, she's gonna clean up. I didn't even ask her to. That's how perfect my daughter is. Oh, they're hunking. You're the best child. You can tell the other children, I don't even care. Look, see, another proof that she's the best child. She looks miserable, but she's doing it. Oh, nope, okay, well, bye, go to school. Okay, we got our first kid up, who's very sad, because she's hungry. Alexis sucks at walking, it's adorable. <laughs> Mom just walks straight by Alexis, and is like, bye, I don't care. Who's calling? What's up, Chuck? Olive got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of other students. She's at the nurse now. Do a thorough check or make sure she doesn't get teased. Do a thorough check, right? She threw up. But I increased her responsibility, but her emotion control has decreased. Does that make me a bad mom? Great, another sink has gone bust. That's amazing. Ooh, we only need to finish thinking for Brielle and then she can become a child. Yeah! All right, we're really close, so everyone else looks solid. All right, you can sleep, Chelsea. You've done your duty by your children. Brielle's super happy. She's crushing this potty situation like a boss. And then she's gonna, last but not least, she's gotta learn thinking. I'm gonna be on top of you, Brielle, until you finish the thinking. Come on, Brielle. I know. All right, these are your last steps. Little baby toddler steps into childhood. Is this the moment? Is this it? It's working, it's working. Olive is back home from school. What do you need? More sleep? Why are you up then? You're gonna wake up your mom because she's, no. Go to your sister, don't wake up mom. Mom never gets to sleep. Don't do it. Stop, stop. Nap on the couch, all right? If you're so tired and sad, nap on the couch. Be your own independent girl, Alexis. There you go. Oh, that looks kind of sad, but cute. Yeah, Brielle is level three. Let's go. Doesn't matter, mom's sleepy. Wake up, make a cake. You know what we should have done? We should have just kept that other cake and not eaten it and then just used it again. But it doesn't matter. Mom, let's go. Add birthday candles. It's aging up time. We don't need this many toddlers. That is one too many. That's honestly three too many toddlers. Happy Lucky. birthday. Aww. <laughs> Up. Pick a number between one and four. The answer is two. All right, so she's also a mental kid. Nice, that's a surprise. Pick a number between one and 30. It's 19. 19, all right, one, two, three, four, 18, 19. She's a kleptomaniac, cool. Never been prouder of that <sighs> child's accomplishment. Oh my God, Brielle is so pretty. I thought that our other child was pretty, but dang, is she pretty. Welcome back to Kelsey's Extreme But Not That Extreme Home Makeover. I'm your host, Kelsey, and I need to buy another kid's bed. There we go. Great. When's she gonna have her new baby? Oh, she's third trimester, so it should be soon. 
Oh my gosh, everyone's asleep in the household. A family of five. Oh no, Chelsea's in labor. Okay, I guess we're gonna have that baby at the hospital. Oh wow, it's time. Honestly, she needed this because her needs are really bad right now. <gasps> she just had an accident at the hospital. I feel like that's happened before. Wow, funny seeing you here, Dominic. You're also a patient here. What is this, baby number five? Oh my goodness. So then we'll be on to baby number six and hopefully, oh my gosh, what if this is twins? Also though, that would be a lot of children in the house at once. Okay, Chelsea's like, ah, back to this old song and dance. <laughs> It's a boy! Okay, so I'm gonna choose a next name. I, I see Miles. I love the name Miles, that's very cute. Miles and Peter Schmay is joining the family. <gasps> it's twins! Our first twins of the baby challenge. And Renee, I see Renee is next. Let's do Renee by none of your business. Oh my goodness, we got twins! Wait, we got twins. Six kids and one mom. We can only have one more baby in this household. We have to get someone out. This this is a little overwhelming, honestly. There's too many babies now. Two is too much. I regret everything. Go home, because you know what time it is. It's time to get to know Craig. We might do that next time. We might start it with a bang. Ba-dum-bum! We're at six out of 100. This is still weird. This is still weird. 